one important thing to realize is that the partial derivative of a function is itself another function. And I'm going to dedicate this video to explain this. So first, let, let me refresh what happened in one dimension. So if you have a function f of x, which is a function of x, if you calculate the derivative, the derivative is equal to the slope at each point, right? So it's changing with x. And therefore, this means that the derivative of f of x, d of dx, is another function of x, which you can also plot, OK? So this would start negative, 0, positive, 0, negative, and so on, yeah? So the derivative of f of, f of x is another function, which sometimes we call f prime of x, as you know. OK, so a very similar thing happens in our two in our case of partial uh, differentiation. So this slope, which is equal to the partial of f with respect to x, of course, that slope changes if we change x or if we change y. So here I am drawing this black line here, which is the slope, which would be the partial of f with respect to x. So then if we change x, that slope is changing. But also, if we change y, the slope is also changing. Okay, so the partial of f with respect to x depends on both x and y. Therefore, we could write that the partial of f with respect to x is a function of x and y, and we usually call this function f subscript x, and it's a function of x and y. Okay. The partial of f with respect to y is a function which we call f subscript y, and it is a function of x and y. Okay, so this is an alternative notation, similarly to how in one dimension we use f prime to talk about the derivative. So here, when we have partial derivatives, we cannot use f prime because we have to specify which variable are we doing the derivative with respect to. So we use the subscript with the variable there, fx or fy. Okay. But the important point is that they are both functions of x and y, the same as the original f was a function of x and y. Okay? So thanks for watching. See you in the next video.